after we released our last screen test about Mountain Lion, Apple released the new iOS version. So FreeMac Software called and said we should also make a video about the new release. So that's what we did. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. One of the biggest new changes in iOS 6 is the new Maps application, which is now backed with Apple's own data and not by Google Maps anymore. This new Maps application has some really great features. For instance, it has a really great 3D view, which normally shows you the buildings of a city in 3D. If a city doesn't have the 3D buildings yet, you still just see a flat map. But if you are approaching a city that has these 3D buildings, the 3D button changes to show some buildings. When I activate this button now, you see 3D buildings appear on the map. And when the tiles actually load, how the buildings stick out from the bottom. Many users have expressed their criticism for the new Maps application, because in some areas the Maps application isn't that great actually. There's a website that's called The Amazing iOS 6 Maps that makes fun of the new Maps application. One of the cool features of the new Maps application is that you can actually go ahead and report problems if you find them on the map. I've heard in some instances that it took only a couple of hours or just a day to update the map. While Apple is working on improving the iOS 6 map, there's a new section in the iOS App Store where you can download some alternative Maps applications. The well-known Siri feature is now actually final. You cannot just only use it on the iPhone 4S and the newly released iPhone 5, but it is also available on the iPad 3. Help. You can say things like. Unfortunately, this feature is not available in older iPhones and iPads because there is a special chip built into the iPhone 4S and newer devices that help to encode the voice. Passbook is a new application that is available on your iPhone that allows you to keep boarding passes, movie tickets, retail coupons and so forth. You can also use the Passbook application to check into flights and see when coupons expire, locate seats in the concert hall and Passbook apps can also have location reminders so when you actually arrive at the gate you can just check in right from your iPhone. I could have shown you the Passbook application but unfortunately we don't have any Passbook applications here in Germany yet. Besides Twitter, there's now a second big social media network built right into iOS, Facebook. If you connect with your Facebook, you can use it to post pictures to your Facebook account. Facebook also integrates with Game Center. It syncs birthdays from your Facebook contacts. It syncs the contacts themselves from Facebook. To configure Facebook, just go to your settings app. You can now share photos with friends and family. To do that, just go into edit mode, select some photos you want to add to a shared photo stream, then click share, photo stream and put it in the photo stream you want to share it with. Then just tap post and they're gonna be shared. The only downside of shared photo streams is that you can't have multiple people sharing one particular photo stream. If you have two persons, both persons have to have one shared photo stream where they put photos into and the other person has to subscribe to the photo stream. You can also comment and like photos in a shared photo stream. FaceTime works now over cellular connection. The phone application also has some new features. You can now quickly respond to calls with a message and you can also set up a reminder to call the person back when your current call has finished. Mail now also has the VIP feature known from Mountain Lion. The contacts, by the way, sync over iCloud. Other than that, you can also send rich text emails right from your iPad. Plus, you can just insert photo and video content right into your mail. Now that iOS 6 is finally released, the aforementioned iCloud tabs syncing feature is now available on all devices. Also new is the ability for iOS devices to download pages to the reading list and read them offline. Mobile Safari can now upload media and there's now a full screen feature available in iPhone or iPod touches in landscape mode. There's also a new accessibility feature which is called guided access. 
This limits your iOS device to only a single application. This is really great if you're having a class of young children and want to restrict the input of the touch device. You can also restrict the touch input to certain areas of the screen. If you are concerned about getting too many ads or too targeted ads, there's now a setting for you. Just go to General, About in the Settings app and then go to Advertising. Here's a checkbox to limit ad tracking. There's a new setting for notifications that's called Do Not Disturb. This function lets you disable push notifications between a certain time. You can use it to not get annoyed by any one of your Twitter friends during your work hours. All Germans will be glad to hear that we now get a full feature keyboard on iOS 6. Just go to your settings app under keyboard, open the keyboards and where it says German, just activate the German one and deactivate every other keyboard. Now switch back to your favorite text writing app and use your favorite umlauts. The shortcuts now sync over iCloud. One thing I can't actually show you because of the lack of a newer iPhone is the panorama feature available in the camera app. iPhone 4S's, the new iPhone 5 and the new iPod Touch 5th generation is now able to take panorama shots. Find My Friends is now able to send location reminders for friends. This is especially good if you're meeting up with a couple of people and want to be notified when they leave their house. But parents can also use this feature to keep track of their kids, which is probably not that good for the kids. Find My iPhone has a new feature called Lost Mode. This basically keeps the phone alive but locked. The finder can be called right from the lock screen and they can answer the phone call. A data connection via Wi-Fi or mobile is required though. If you have iTunes Match, you can now not only download your songs, but you can also stream them right from the cloud. There's now a handy download all button in every playlist to download all songs of that particular playlist. Gun are the buttons to download individual songs. Plus, your playback position for movies and audiobooks, for instance, now syncs over iCloud. The iOS stores have also been updated. The App Store, the iTunes Store and the iBook Store now share a similar look and feel. One of the biggest new features for me in the App Store actually is that the App Store now has full screen previews. Just tap on a picture and see full screen previews of an app. The iPad now has a full clock app with work clock, alarm, stopwatch and timer. One thing I didn't mention in the Mountain Lion update iOS 6 is now also optimized for China, which means that this big market for Apple now is easier able to consume new media on their iOS and OS 10 devices.